lot of really meaningful things on background checks will take place, including red flags, including a lot of other very, very important items. And the Republicans are looking at it very seriously. And I really believe that the NRA, I've spoken to them numerous times, they're really good people. They're great patriots. President Trump says he is discussing with Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell on how to tackle gun violence following the two recent mass shootings. The Senate Majority Leader says that gun control will actually be front and center when they reconvene in September. But will the Senate vote on a background check legislation that has already passed in the House? And would it even be enough to curb gun violence, uh, which everyone considers an epidemic in this country? Joining me now, Trump 2020 Advisory Board Member, Captain America, Steve Rogers. You really have been talking about this for a long time, Steve. Uh, so, you, you know, we should tell people your background is FBI, counterterrorism, law enforcement. Uh, so you've studied this as well as anyone else. A lot of folks point out that a lot of existing laws, similar to what's being talked about in Congress, but already on a local level, wouldn't have stopped wouldn't stop most of these shootings, including some the shootings that happened over the past weekend. You're absolutely right. None of these existing laws would have stopped it. However, I must say that uh, President Trump has really been out front on this since these incidents happened by doing what? He's bringing uh, to the forefront the need for community policing, for example. Why community policing, Charles? Because the cop on the beat, he knows the who, what, when, where, and why in his neighborhood. It's a good way to get intelligence uh, and information. And I can see how that could curb local crime. I think I've been an advocate of that a long time, particularly in urban areas. But what about these incidents when it takes just one person? Uh, you know, again, let's get, for instance, to the red, red flag laws. On one hand, uh, you know, we always find in the aftermath of these things that this person was in, in, in the net somehow, that someone knew, that someone called the police, someone told the principal, uh, uh, someone told a neighbor. Someone saw something because this behavior doesn't uh, uh, you know, develop overnight, Steve. On the other hand, folks are saying, hey, these red flag laws are just another attempt to sooner or later circumvent the Second Amendment. How do you handle that? How does President Trump handle that with, with, with his voters? Well, it'll be due process also. Uh, no one wants to see police come into your house on the whim of someone uh, uh, alleging that you may use a gun uh, in the commission of a crime. So, look, there's a, there's a clause in that. It's called immediate imminent danger. Yes, the police could go in and get your weapons. Who determines but, that? Uh, well, that'll be up to the officers on the street. And, and we have to give them a lot of credit because it goes back to the community policing issue. You know who in your neighborhood could be in trouble and may go off the deep end. So... As long as there's due process, I think we won't have a problem with that. I know you're a supporter of the Second Amendment. Folks watching this show right now who are concerned, you're saying don't be concerned. The Second Amendment will not be uh, usurped or, or, or mitigated in any way. It will not. And, and, and the point is, uh, Charles, is that so long as we think about reasonable regulations, common sense regulations, and at the same time, as the president said, respect what the the NRA is talking about what they really want to do is protect the Second Amendment. I wouldn't be too concerned. How would the background, the, 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 the more, more, you know, the background checks that President Trump's talking about, it sounds like he's saying, hey, some people may be uncomfortable with this initially. Some of his core voters may be uncomfortable with this. What should we expect? I talked to some of the people who are NRA members today about that, and they said we have nothing to hide, so it would be fine. And I think what the president is talking about, the background checks, have to be shared by the federal government, state government, and local police, most importantly, in a more effective manner. What are they looking for? Well, you're looking for people who may be mentally ill. You're looking for people who may be on terrorist watch lists, and more so, people who are convicted felons uh, as a result of violent acts. Uh, those people should not have weapons. Steve Rogers, Captain America, thank you very much. My really pleasure. appreciate it. Thank you. Well, Walmart taking some.